Hey, sweet loves, welcome back to Sweets Unmuted. So I'm here to finish the previous read up. I know things got a little bit crazy. My kids are home, so they were going back and forth. But I'm here to um finish off this read, okay? So yeah, we got somebody in your energy. Um that's dreaming of a future with you, but they in jail or going to jail. They could currently be in jail or about to go to jail. But this is someone that you were definitely in a sexual connection with. Could have sent this person news. Could have utilized adult toys when y'all were having sex. But this was someone you were definitely addicted to. You know, there could have been an on and off connection. But you all, no matter what you did, who you were going out with, how many people you entertained... You always found yourself back entertaining this person because you were addicted to them. Could have been addicted to the sex because it's a lot of, it's a lot of like, with the car sex, sending news, adult toys. Um, this could, could have been a sexual based connection. Connection. It could have started out based on sex, but this person is a gold digger. That's giving me sex magic. Like they, they, <laughs> you or them, you know, take away a resonate. Because everybody that's a divine being that wasn't always divine at a time. I know I had my karmic days. But, um, yeah, you could have traveled to Mexico with this person or be planning to. But this person could utilize your addiction to sex as a way of holding on to you. What else do you have for my sweet love spirit? So we got mother. Holding on to both of you. So this person could be some type of mother figure. They could be a mother or they could be um, a baby mother. Take away a resonate, sweet love, because this person, let's just say, um, for my feminines. Can you give me your ice cream, please? Why, why are you speaking like that? Because I'm a child. Yeah, you are a child, but you're trying but to feel like a baby. baby. Yeah, but you're not a baby right now. Sweet loves, hold on one second. Let me get my baby some ice cream. Come on. Come on. I'm back, sweet loves. My apologies. So, right? Whoever this person is, let's just say you're feminine and you had some type of sexual addiction to a male. Right? You were addicted to this person. You sent this person nudes. You utilized the dealt toys when you guys entangled. Right? You could have had intercourse in a car with them. And there's some significant about Mexico when it comes to this person. This person is a gold digger. Right? Whoever they are, they have children. And they're holding on to their baby mother 
and trying to hold on to you still. Thank you, Spirit, for clarifying that. Yeah. So this person is trying to hold on to you and their baby mama. But they they could be going to jail. Yep. False mask removal. So you're about to see this person for who they are. Somehow or another, something's going to happen. And you may see this person for who they are, that they're a digger. <laughs> that they really a gold digger. Thank you. Yep. Trying to come your way, trying to go dig. Because your bag is good. And you'll never be broke again. All right. Someone that's clingy. Someone that's real clingy on your energy. Had a secret affair with your friend. Never broke again clingy. Secret affair with your friend. So, this is someone... They could be clinging on to your energy because you have money and they low-key had a secret affair with your friend. Or at this time, they could be well off. They could be a clingy, a clingy person that has money, but they had a secret affair with your friend. And you're going to find something out. Spirit saying, take a walk in the park and go into solitude. Yep. You're going to find something out. If you don't already know this, we're going to take a walk in the park and go into solitude. This could have been some type of domestic violence situation within this situation. Between this clingy energy that had a secret affair with your friend. If this is the same person, it could be one person, it could be two different people. But somebody that um you were in a domestic violence situation with they ride and pass your house just to get a glimpse of you ride and pass your house just to get a glimpse of you now you could have went on a vacation with this person or they could be going on a vacation whoever they are they got a little wee wee we got endless strength. Or you could be going on a vacation and they could be, this person with the little wee-wee could be riding past your house in hopes of seeing you and your partner. Whoever they are, they good for your image, but not for your soul. What else do you have, Holy Spirit? What else do you have for my sweet loves? What else do you have? Thank you. Okay. So spirit could want you or this person to know that your choices come with consequences. Sexual health checkup. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Okay, spirit. This person could offer to take you on a vacation, right? This person that you was fighting with the little peepee. -pee. They could offer to take you on a vacation. In hopes of trying to sleep with you. Be mindful, sweet love. If I were you, I would not sleep with this person. We have your choices come with consequences, sexual health checkup. So if you indulge on any type of, in any type of one-on-one -on -one sexual activity, any type of sexual activity with this person, you will regret it. Yep. You won't be able to rest. I just seen him. There'll be no rest for the wicked. So I, I would definitely not do that. 
This person has something. Thank you. You or this person could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So we got a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with a little wee wee. That clearly got the hot tip dick with the sexual health checkup. Whoever they are, they want to know your business, but they very secretive with theirs. Okay? They very secretive with theirs. Now take this where it resonates because you know this could be male or female. Whoever this earth, I mean, um, Yeah, I was about to say Earth sign. <laughs> um, whoever the source Virgo Capricorn is, they're someone who wants to know your business, but they very secretive with theirs. They be cheating on you while you at work. Okay? And don't think it can't happen to you. Never say never. Okay? Never say never. Never say never. So you you probably thought this person would never do that. No, they would never cheat on me while I work. And I just keep thinking of like in the house. In the house. And I would hope that that's not the case. But this is just what I keep like hearing. I keep seeing a house. Either way it goes. Um, yeah, this person was cheating while you was at work. You could have thought this person was in the house doing a bunch of nothing while you was out making the donuts. But yeah, that ain't the case. But we got to never say never. Okay? Huh, confirmation. Y'all heard that? The phone just went off. This person. Okay. So we got cheating while you at work. Never say never on top of secret affair with your friend, right? Then we got stop focusing on them, focus on you. And we got... Loving the crew. So this person definitely could have been indulging with people that you were connected to. Definitely. Definitely could have been indulging with people that you were connected to. But Spirit says, stop focusing on them. Focus on you. Fuck them. Not literally, because you'll be ending up here. We don't need that, okay? We don't need that. Keep your little horny Peter Weedy, your horny cat, whatever you got going on, keep it in your pants, okay? Because somebody ain't right. X for paperwork, okay? X for paperwork. So we got to appreciate the simple things, okay? The simple things to my your blessings. The simple things to my your blessings, your blessings. We got life. So let's live. I'm going to put the link to that too. <laughs> That's my song. That's when I go to Jamaica, y'all. When I go to Jamaica, oh, the, J the Jamaican playlist is lit. You hear me? Lit. What else do you have for my sweet love, Holy Spirit? Thank you. Okay. New card alert. New card alert. So we got praising those you can't even trust. All right? So somebody is praising... Either a particular person or a select group of people. And I just heard a, a, a ding. Who they can't even trust. This could be you or this could be someone connected to you. But praising those you can't even trust. You know, a lot of times we give people credit that they don't deserve. We praising this person, that person. Oh, yeah, my boy, my girl, my brother, my sister, my aunt, my uncle, my mother, my father, whoever. My friend of 13 years and this and that. And the whole time, they be a damn snake. You can't even trust them. All right? So we got telling half the story. So someone's telling half the story about something. Could be something to do with money. How they may have gotten money. Ooh, confirmation. I just heard that spirit. Thank you, ancestors. Y'all is not playing today. Yeah, so somebody's telling half the story about money. How they came up. 
Whoever this person is, they jealous of your character. They je jealous of your character. Now, it's... If uh, this could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that you can't trust, that's jealousy of character. Now, if you are currently in solitude or just been in her hermit mode for quite some time, come out and get a little bit of ear, okay? Just, just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. So there's the unevolved energy somewhere within your energy. Whoever this person is, you'll know because they have uh, fertility issues. Or you could be having fertility issues. You could be someone that's experiencing fertility issues and you're dealing with somebody that's unevolved. Okay? Whoever this person is is indecisive. They don't know what they want. So if you're someone that's Experiencing fertility issues. That person you with, yeah. They don't know what they want to do. And God could be showing you this. What else do you have, Spirit? Okay. Okay, yeah. So this person likes to start arguments with you. You and this person could be arguing over some bullshit. They can make issues about any and every little thing as a way to make you feel, I'm hearing like guilty, as a way to play on your emotions and make it seem like, see, this is why I don't want to be in a connection. Like making it seem like you start a whole lot of bullshit with them. You start a whole lot of arguments and drama and like y'all be arguing over any and everything because of you. Basically like pointing a finger at you and making it seem like, you know, this is why they're pulling back. What else do you have, Spirit? I don't see that spirit thing. Thank you. So we have stop denying what your heart truly feels. Okay. Side chick number one, main chick number two. So psychological abuse, verbal, emotional, and death. So. There could be an ending. There could be an ending to a situation, to a connection. You could be the side chick or the main chick in this in, in this dynamic. But Spirit is saying, stop denying what you truly feel. If you really feel some type of way about this situation and this connected connection and this ending, you know, feel your emotions. Grow through your emotions. Go through them and grow through them. Okay? It looks like it was a, a, a real messy, toxic situation. Psychological abuse, you know. Whatever it is that you may have experienced in this connection. With this unevolved person. Don't deny it. If you're hurting. Pray for your heart to be healed. But feel those emotions. Don't suppress the emotions. Okay. So we got mommy and daddy role trying to lure you back with money. So somebody that plays the mommy and daddy role to their kids could be coming your way trying to lure, lure you back with money. So now I got the death card out here and then I got fuck cancer at the bottom. So just, you know, I pray that everyone is safe and that no one passes from, from cancer. If it, you have experienced that recently or if that does happen to you, my condolences in advance. 
I truly apologize for having to even deliver that message. Okay, so we have truth. Okay. So truth. Kings take pleasure in honest lips. They value a man who speaks the truth. Okay? So this person who plays the mommy and daddy role that's trying to lure you back with money, they could currently be depressed. Okay? Because they told a lot of lies to you. They told a lot of lies to you and now they don't know how to come towards you. But whoever they are, and if or you if you're this person, you need to know that stop the lying. Okay? Just stop. You, you, the, the lies, your lies will be your demise, okay? Those lies catch up to you at some point. You may get away with lying for 20 years. That 21st year in two months, your ass will get caught, you know? And then you end up here in a situation that, you know, your choices came with. Your choice to lie came with consequences. So the consequences seems like it's, you know, being depressed. Nobody wants to be like that. Nobody wants to be like that, so... Be mindful, you know, you got to be truthful. Integrity is everything. I don't understand why people just, I mean, I get why people may tell little white lies here and there, but shit, you can't even say that because when people tell white lies and get away with them, they get used to it and they blow up and start telling more lies. And now you're just lying your way through life and scamming. And at the end of the day, that shit all got to catch up with you. And it's nothing pretty. It's nothing pretty. It is what it is. Tell the truth. This is what you're supposed to do. It's, it's written, okay? People respect truth, integrity, honesty, okay? So, you or this person that plays the mommy and daddy role could be a seer, okay? You could be a seer. You could see, see things, whether it be visions or within dreams, but you can see things to come. So we have stop settling for safe, okay? So if you're this person that's a seer and you're depressed, spirit will want you to stop settling for safe, okay? Stop settling for safe. Believe in the things that you cannot see. Don't think that something can't happen just because you've never seen it happen. We in mind-blowing times, baby. Mind-blowing times. That's why you got to fear no one but God, okay? Because we in mind-blowing times. We, we be seeing things that happen. We are seeing things happen that have never happened. And things are happening for those who lead with integrity and truth. Okay? So, be mindful. Okay, so we got fear no one but God. You could have been dealing with a bird. You could be the bird or you could have been dealing with a bird. But, yeah. Or you could have a bird. What's up, Halo? But whoever you are, <clears throat> you were falling in love with potential. You didn't analyze the situation first. You didn't analyze the situation first. This person was the bird and now it's forcing you to face your insecurities. So this sounds to me like some healing needs to be done because somebody is selling, settling for safe. They settling for what they're used to. They settling for what they know because of the fear of the unknown. But why are you fearing the unknown? You are supposed to fear no one but God, okay? Exercise that crazy faith in the Holy Spirit and that belief that if you change, things will change. Exercise that power in you that you possess. Because we all have the ability to change. A liar has the ability to become a person of integrity. They just first have to believe in themselves. And then begin exercising and practicing, you know, acts of integrity or leading with integrity. So we got back together again, okay? So someone that you friend zone looks like 
Y'all be back together again. Whoever this person is, they be watching you. They secretly watch you. They secretly watch you. Somebody that you friend zone. They incognito. But you and them will be back together again. Might be have to be some lesson that needs to be learned. You could have could have been uh you guys could have been brought together for one reason and separated so that healing can take place in order to be brought back together. But we got back together again. So we gotta pay your rent, okay? So make sure you're getting those bills paid at the beginning of the month. Pay your rent. And we have pray for courage. So yeah, trust. I got the, uh, let's see what the romance angels have for us in reference to this situation where, Holy Spirit, what do you have for my sweet love in reference to this person who they friend zone that's secretly watching them? What do you have in reference to this connection where my sweet love will be back together again with someone that they friend zone? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So. With the let go of control issues, allow this situation to unfold naturally out here. And the fear of no one but God, that's letting me know someone was definitely trying to control the narrative of a situation. Okay? Somebody was definitely trying to control the narrative of a situation. And it didn't work out too well for them. Didn't work out too well. You or this person could definitely have a family. This looks like it may have been someone that... Um, had several connections this person could have littered for my feminines you could be you could have friends on a masculine that had multiple women that had eyes on them they could have multiple women and they could have had a baby mother or something it's definitely somebody that they had children around that they had children with around. This person could have had multiple ties to different people. Okay? Now, if you're this masculine, right? If you're this masculine that's watching, it looks like you could have been dealing with multiple people. Confirmation, you had an alarm going off. You could have been dealing with a lot of people. But the time has come to free yourself. Look, if you see how this is, got this man. Family situation. Then you got one, two, three females back here. So, there's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of mess going on. But spirit is calling for you to free yourself. You got to release yourself from these strongholds, these strong ties. Okay, right now you're bound. You're bound to this. You're surrounded. You see how this horse, this unicorn, right? It's surrounded. Same way these women are basically surrounding this man. You know, you got to free yourself from these things. If you want to go here, okay? You're connecting with someone that there's a strong attachment to. And this situation could definitely um, ascend to a higher level of commitment, but not with 
And look how I, I set the cards back down and look, engagement. If you want to, if you want to get to this point, you know, that real true love, you got to let go of all this other stuff. You can't have people in the background. You got to free yourself. At some point, you got to change your play of ways. And at the bottom, we got wedding. This situation involves marriage. So, you know, you definitely, thank you, spirit. You definitely are connecting to someone who you could build with, who could be a true love match for you. You know, someone that you see as a wife. But you got to free yourself. You bound. You suck to toxicities. You got to love yourself first. Okay? You got to love yourself first and free yourself from these things. Confirmation. Come on now. Spirit ain't going to play. Spirit is not going to play. He on somebody's heels right now. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay? Step into your power. You don't just allow all these people to have a part of you, okay? You're something special. You're a unicorn. People may think, oh, unicorn is not real or they're weird or whatever the case may be. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, you are something special, okay? Everybody just can't have a piece of you. I know for men, they like to swing their wand everywhere and think that, you know, they're doing something by having multiple women but in all reality you're really not all you're doing is, is is creating soul ties creating soul ties and families you see how this person this one female is in a human form or you, is of the flesh and these are spirits you know you trying to build a connection or a family with somebody right you want to ascend to a higher level of commitment, a wedding and engagement and build a family and a partnership and have a wife. But you got all these soul ties in the background. You got to free yourself from that. Love on you a little bit more. You don't just give yourself to nobody. You got to make them earn you. And no, it ain't nothing easy because, you know, in the society that we live in, Sex, money, and drugs is praise, you know? This is like you a geek if you ain't got three and four and five bitches. No, it ain't a matter if, and excuse me, I don't mean to call women bitches at all, but you know, I'm, I'm speaking how the streets speak. But at the end of the day, those soul ties leave your hair, baby. Leave your hair. All those entanglements. Your, 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 your choices come with consequences. The choice to have multiple partners comes with consequences. Are those consequences worth you not getting to this point? Not ever experiencing true love? Commitment? Loyalty? Because we already had out here that somebody was not committal. Got to heal those wounds. Face those insecurities. What are you insecure about? What is it that makes you just, you know, let people do you however, basically? Because that's what's going on. Everybody not deserving of your time and your energy because everybody don't want the best for you. Everybody don't care for you like you care for them. A lot of people are only out to get what they could get. This journey has taught me so much about how shysty and sneaky and snaky and just fucked up people is. But you got to have faith. You got to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So you do, do have a true love, you know, in your path. But you got to free yourself first. God not going to give you your wife or your husband and you still connected and got soul ties with all these other people. That ain't happening. That ain't happening. You could forget that. Definitely forget that. 
okay? And just trust. Keep an open mind that if you change your ways and your behavior and you know from you, you shift your mindset that God will do what he do. Pray for that courage. Pray for that courage. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. That was a good one, Spirit. I like that message. I don't know who that was for, but Spirit on your heels, baby. Spirit on your heels. Get it together. I don't really want to go. I don't really want to stay. But I really need to. Can we get it together? Get it together. I ain't like that one, sweet love. I don't like how I say I'm right there. But anyway, yeah. I'm going to leave it there, sweet loves. I'll be back to y'all with another read. Love and light to you all. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, sweet love.